Hi, it's Kevin LeBates here. So earlier today I posted a short post um, noting that uh, we may end up in a situation where countries actually uh, hold Facebook's Libra coins uh, as reserves. Um, at which point a Libra would actually be a self-stabilizing stable coin and that it would be stabilized by the fact that um, the coin itself was being held by governments and therefore the uh, underpinnings of Libra would be itself. So that seemed a bit odd to me. And then um, Leos Stehnik made an interesting comment, uh, namely that uh, part of the basket of stabilizing currencies was not just going to consist of currencies, it was, only gonna, it was also going to consist of securities and government debt bonds, uh, which leads to an interesting um, situation, namely that let's say I buy uh, a million Libra, uh, a million dollars worth of Libra, and then Libra buys a million dollars worth of government bonds. Um, there you have a situation where Libra is basically minting currency because they're doing exactly the same thing that central banks do. Because what central banks do is they buy government debt bonds and then those bond bonds are sold on and that's how currency makes its way into our financial system so um i'm not surprised that um the the congress wants to have an urgent meeting with facebook about this because it's kind of interesting that a social media company should launch a um, a digital currency system that is effectively going to allow it to act as a central bank and uh, the central banks are pretty protective of their role in society you don't just get to form a world bank or a European central bank or um, whatever um, just because you feel like it these things are pretty tightly controlled and it's a pretty exclusive club um, that uh, not anybody can join. So uh, I'm really starting to get interested in the sort of deeper ramifications of what's going on here. It's uh, interesting that a simple technical system described in a uh, fairly short white paper, um, certainly by government standards, um, could lead to um, the implementation of a new digitally based wor um, world central bank and that central bank is not going to be controlled by the usual collection of people with experience from the International Monetary Fund or Goldman Sachs, but is actually going to be controlled by a social media company and a bunch of uh, payment handling or money transmittal companies. So uh, let's keep an eye on this because I think it's going to be interesting and there's going to be fireworks. Bye for now.